So I'm usually late to these things and this time I kind of fucked up because I actually had planned to do this video earlier but you know, real life stuff. Either way, there is now an alternative for wave dashing in Smash Brothers for 3DS and Wii U and a lot of you dudes know this already. I'm saying it right now, this is nothing new anymore because this video came out like, you know, freaking three days ago so most of you know this by now but if you don't, a new alternative to wave dashing has been discovered in Smash 3DS and Wii U, like I just said, and it's called Perfect Pivoting. It was discovered by my, my Smash Corner, who's somebody I've been following for a while now. This guy, he doesn't make videos too often, but every time he does, he reveals a new technique or something that you can use in the game to your advantage if you're willing to put in the time to learn it. Now, the most recent thing he did is called Perfect Pivoting, which is basically an alternative to wave dashing, and it's crazy how he discovered this, but it's actually really useful, really practical, and something that I feel like everybody could implement into their regular playstyle if they work hard to figure out how to do the thing. Now, it's possible on both the 3DS and the Wii U. It's just a bit harder on the 3DS and you have less options right now because in certain places, the 3DS new version isn't out yet, so you don't have as Kobe says all the time, to, to flick to stimulate the 3DS, so you won't be able to um, um, program like C-Stick functions to the 3DS right now, but you will be able to once the new one comes out here in America and whatnot. But either way, we'll just watch a little bit of this perfect pivoting video so you can see some of the uses that it has. Let me ask you, do you miss wave dashing? I do. Well, this is well, probably I never the used closest it, thing to it in Smash 4. I'm gonna tell you guys everything about perfect pivoting, how to do it, and how it can be used in battle. The inputs for this technique... So as you saw there, it seems like perfect pivoting is almost exactly like wave dashing, just doesn't involve you using the jump button, but the way you input is a little different. ...are pretty straightforward. All you have to do is dash in one direction, then instantly flick the control stick in the opposite direction. Though when I say flick, I mean flick. flick. When you first try... As you can see, it's really tough to pull off. I mean, if you want, you can try it right now on your controller. It's going to be difficult, and I haven't even managed to do it that often on my 3DS yet because that's where I've been practicing it, but, you know, with a lot of hard work, you know, just gotta keep repeating it until eventually it just gets, like, freaking engraved into your brain. So, keep trying if you're not successful with it at first. This, you might accidentally do an on-spot dash. This means your flick in the opposite direction is held for too long. It'll definitely take some practice, but once you get the timing down, it'll become second nature. Okay, so now that you know how to do it, what can you do with it? Oh, man. Well, perfect pivoting by itself can already be a good spacing and mind game tool, but the best use for it in my opinion is definitely combining it with an attack. Of course. Perfect pivoting into jabs can be a safe and quick way to catch incoming opponents. If you change your C-Stick to tilt instead of smash attacks, you'll even be able to perfect pivot into tilts, essentially sliding tilts. Same goes for smash attacks. The effect is very similar to wave dashing into attacks in melee. Aside from giving- Yeah, so as you guys can see there, this is basically a new method for wave dashing. Now, is this going to pick up that fast? I think it already is. I mean, I haven't really seen any tournaments using it yet, but this seems like such a practical thing, and it doesn't really seem all that difficult to implement. There are some people that are saying it's tough to pull off, and I'll say that it is on the 3DS, but you know, I feel like once I get like a little analog extender for my 3DS, then it'll be a lot easier to do. But for now, it's tougher to do on the 3DS, but you could pull it off. And um, let's see some more. Here's my favorite part, actually, where he shows off how you can use it. Of course, then throw out the move. Now you have a faster alternative. So far, so good, right? Well, I'm not done. There's perfect pivot grabbing, That's what which I'm is a about. much faster version of reverse grabbing. And of course, special moves can be used with this tech as well. Now let's talk about perfect pivot lengths. Each character is different. Mm -hmm. The longer the initial dash, the longer the perfect pivot. To be accurate, I used the squares on the side of the Omega version of Windy Hill Zone to measure through a fixed camera view. For example, the longest perfect pivot will be Captain Falcon's at six squares. So, and like the length, like you said, determines on how fast the character initially dashes out. So, you know, certain characters are going to get the short end of the stick. Like the shortest will be Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff. at two squares. As you can see, Jigglypuff's um, perfect pivot is really. I guess we can call it PP, but it sounds a little bit weird. But then again, eh, whatever. These names usually have somebody coming up with a crafty alternative, eventually, right? But um, yeah, P pivot. It's kind of. It's, it's kind of tricky with certain characters. Like, for example, I use Robin, Anyways, and perfect. Robin's perfect pivot length is extremely low. 
it might just be unusable. I mean, or at least not have any practical use whatsoever. And it kind of sucks, but you know what? Hey, that's what you get. I mean, not everyone's going to be built equally. I mean, Rosalina and Luma, top tier characters, they only have a perfect pivot of 2.5. So, you know, it all depends. But either way, um, what do you guys think of this tech? I'll have the video linked below so you can see more about it. But are you going to be trying to implement this into your playstyle? I definitely think it wouldn't hurt. And I'm going to be doing everything I can to try to get it in there as well, too. It seems like a great option. Oh, oh, and the best part of the video, I didn't even get to show you guys. I, I want to show you, but you know, I want to leave some credit for the video as well, too. A big shout out to My Smash Corner for being able to show us this, for discovering this. I'm not sure if he just, yeah, he probably discovered it. But um, let me know what you guys think about this whole thing, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.